Ahoy mga ka t-shirt, it's me again, Mike Lee, your t-shirt guy. And today, I will give my New Year's message. So, unang-una, I hope you have uh, a very meaningful Christmas. No? So, Merry Christmas, Great and Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. So, if interesado ka sa New Year's message ko, please stay tuned mga ka t-shirt. Lahat tayo, we have our a New Year's resolution. No? And by the way, congrats to everybody na withstand natin lahat ng uh, trials and challenges ng 2022. Napakadaming challenges noon, di ba? Remember, ng 2022, nagkaroon ng uh, Omicron na halos lahat ng kausap natin is all of a sudden may COVID. Diba? And nagkaroon ng Ukraine war, tumaas lahat ng gasolina, tumaas lahat ng bilihin. At don't forget, very lately lang, yung golden sibuyas. Diba? <laughs> so I would like to congratulate each and every one of us na hanggang ngayon, we are still keep on kicking and uh, striving towards dun sa end ng 2022. Lahat tayo, we wanted to, to have a better life for the next new year to come. Diba? Lalong-lalo na na uh, lahat tayo, we are very optimistic to, to the new um, year 2023. Um, according to surveys, lahat tayo, we have our own New Year's resolutions. Pero um, based on my research, ito yung top 5 na gustong mangyari ng mga Pinoy. No? Unang-una, sa list is diet. No, guilty, guilty, guilty. Siyempre, after ng tainan, after ng holiday break, diba, we wanted to, you know, make a fun of eating. Diba? Kainan eh. Diba? So, gusto natin, pagkatapos ng kainan, we wanted to the, the, to lose some weight. Diba? So, yan yung mga um, nasa, ano natin, top one. Top two is uh, no vices. No? Next year, hindi na ako masyado iinom ng alak. Next year, hindi na ako mag yo si Hindi na ako lahat, di ba? Yung mga vices natin. So, para lang to, to make a healthy living. And as we towards do sa healthy living na concept, uh, meron tayo, syempre, we wanted to have exercise. Uh, maging active day in and day out. Kasi nga, after ng mga kainan, we wanted to make uh, less to our weight. So, di ba? Kaya kaya nga ngayon, this is the peak season or after the new year, will be the peak season of the gym membership. And number five, next year, magiging mabait na po. So, that um, the top fives na New Year's resolutions ng mga Pilipino. Pero, um, bakit ba? Hindi natin o mahirap siyang um, sundin. O bakit nahirapan ng mga Pinoy na sundin ang kanilang New Year's resolutions? Maybe the reasons are nagsistay tayo sa luma. Ano ba yung luma? L stands for laging walang gana. Laging walang gana dun sa pagbabago na gusto. Pero may pangarap. Pero laging walang gana. Walang energy. So, dahil siguro depressed. Dahil siguro um, masyadong maraming iniisip. And so on. I get that. No? Pero yun yung nag-hinder sa mga Pilipino. Uh, for us not to do the New Year's resolution. Laging walang gana. Then number two is you. Only excuses. No? Sobrang daming excuses. Including me. I'm also a person. And... Marami ako excuses, actually. Kung gusto ko maglakad at nag-feel ko, tinatamad ako at uh, marami akong ginawa for the day, I make an excuse. No? Or, pagka naman kakain ka, sabi mo, deserve ko to. Di ba? Kain ka ng kain naman. Or, inom ka ng inom ng matatamis sa mga drinks. No? So, and the excuses. And, and, meron parating next time. No? But to the point na nakakalimutan na natin yung specific goal natin which is the New Year's Resolution. Pag marami kang next time, ba, bukas na lang, bukas na lang. And lo and behold, after that, New Year na naman. A, ala, motivation. Ala, wala talaga. I don't know why. Sometimes, uh, it's because hindi natin na-feel yung, yung benefit ng change na we wanted to pursue. No? So, pa- paano ba natin maalis sa isip natin yung luma? Siyempre, tapatan natin tingnan nang bago. Ano ba yung bago? Be be love and be in love, di ba? Para maging inspiration mo, di ba? Kanina sa luma, alang motivation, di ba? If you are loving, if you are in love, mas naging inspired ka 
no? to, to do what is best and for, for you to do better for the next year to come. Diba? And ano ba? A. Adaptable. No, kahit maraming mga changes, maraming mga scenarios na nangyayari, as long as you are adaptable, you can still withhold dun sa pinapangarap mong mga bagay-bagay. Diba? For example, gusto mo mag-save ng money. Diba? So, dahil adaptable ka, kunwari yung budget mo hindi na nag-fit, then next week or next month, di ba? pwede mo siyang bawiin. Di ba? So, as long as you are adaptable, you can still manage that change. Di ba? And then, G, goal-oriented. Di ba? As long as we have goals, as long as alam mo kung ano yung gusto mo, madaling mag-focus doon. Kung hindi mo alam yung goal mo, paano mo ma-achieve yung gusto mo, basically. So, kailangan mo lang kahit anong mangyari, kahit mag-fail ka man dun sa certain goal mo on day one, day two, day three, as long as you're focused on the goal, as long as ginagawa mo yun for the goal, I think, uh, makukuha mo, makukuha kung ano yung desired um, results mo. Okay? And then, O, oh, optimistic. Lahat tayo, we started to have this kind of positive mindset towards the 2023. Dapat, ialis natin sa isip natin yung negativity because negativity will start the luma. Okay? Ganun parate, yung luma ang mentality ng negative person. Sabi nga nila, si Negatron, no? Oh, Negatron ka na naman, di ba? Dapat, maging optimistic prime ka, no? Para maging aware ka at maging excited ka dun sa magiging results na mangyayari sa'yo if you change your habit. And as as a final word, no? Remember, ang pinakamahirap talaga sa isang uh, New Year's resolution is for you to start. Yun ang pinakamahirap na part no, when you are doing the goal that you wanted. So, dapat you stick with it, you be focused about it, and work hard for it. No? Kasi, um, lalo na if it is for the betterment of yourself. Tandaan natin, New Year is a new opportunity for us to uh, grab our, our, our luggage and say, let's go. We will have a better future. We will have a better year for next year. Be inspired. Keep pushing. Keep acting on your dreams and act on it para makuha natin yung prosperous new year na hinahanap at pinapangarap natin for 2023. Happy New Year, everybody! And hopefully, you have a better new year for 2023. And, tandaan, next year, we will have new contents for you guys. And hopefully, you are still here watching the T-Shirt Guide Vlogs. And, see you next year for another T-Shirt Guide Vlog.